Hey, check it out. It is a lean, mean, turquoise, and green a la mystery machine in medics and double toe line. Not bad, right? And we're doing this video a little bit differently. You can tell that we're going backwards rather than kind of creating the bot from scratch. Uh, we're going to take them apart layer by layer. And the reason why I'm doing that is uh, this bot, in order to make it, you need a couple of aftermarket bits. Not everyone has them. Most people, I don't think, will. And so, therefore, I don't think there are going to be a ton of people actually replicating this one by one. Therefore, rather than go step by step and say, this is how you build them, I think what I'll do is I'll start taking him apart and comment on a bunch of the bits um yeah and it'll be like a build study almost right and so full credit to where credits do uh this little thing this apron this apron chest armor thing robozy was the first person that i saw do this and one of the things about having a people who inspire you in this space is that they they almost give you permission and what i mean by that is like i don't mean permission to use the particular build but almost like it inspires you to use it in that particular way like i would have never thought of doing this till he did it and it's almost like oh wow you can do that like that's allowed you know what i mean and uh backpack yeah that, that's standard the shoulders using the the what is it um the, the the scrap hook shin as the shoulder and then plugging the arm in this i learned from semi shimming shu g0x2 and again it's just like i followed their lead and i built on it but honestly these guys taught me a lot when the junkions first came out so full credit to our credits due and um yeah, yeah yeah it's just a good time partaking in the creative consciousness sometimes you borrow sometimes you give and uh but yeah so uh this particular bit the chest I built a scrap or um, axle grease and a crankcase combiner with a similar uh, motif, except axle grease has that unique bit. You know what I'm talking about? The unique accessory that allows you to do this without these bits over here. You see those things? Those are aftermarket parts from uh, Kotobukiya, and they're five millimeter connectors, and they have hinges on them as well, and it's really, really cool. And um, I paid a little bit out the nose because I had to pay um, shipping for it to come from Japan. But um, you can get it at the, um, I think it's called the Gundam store or something like that. And I think it was like 15 bucks and free shipping last time I checked. And so that's a heck of a deal, you know, like 50% less than what I paid. Um, yeah. And then the back, this unique bit. This obviously is from Punchy's Lab. And so this is a connector that he made for me. And it basically converts the two ports into a single one. And that's awesome, especially for guys like this. Like, it just fits in so well. And I think that's awesome. And that's why I'm not doing this kind of step by step. But I will start peeling them apart right now. And again, I'll comment on each of the bits. This is obviously very recognizable. This is just a scrap hook foot uh or tow line you know and we have the we have the little uh, chevron over here the exhaust so originally when i was building stuff i used to put them on the outside but it was actually pre pre piss on who i saw put it on the inside first and also put the spur on there and so yeah it's again just kind of shout outs to him as well and um he was the first person that i saw kind of do that and um I, th I think it looks good and we have them adorned on uh both sides for some reason they're not the same height whatever dude but yeah 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 so i saw him do it first and they look nice they look nice all like cowboy spur like uh very very cool stuff i think it was pre 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 passan um these over here these are just kind of plugged into the side of medics's uh forearms just like that and uh, i like how it does make him fatter it fills it out and it kind of covers his hands just holding that um the kotobukiya msg or mgs one of those um terms and uh it's just plugged into the side of the tow line bit and actually all the weight bearing down on him makes him less floppy you know that and, and i think that's kind of cool and then we have these plugged in here like i said this i learned from g0x2 semi uh he's an incredible not only bender but dude he's insane with his customization skills he can he can really paint he does an incredible job I saw him do a conversion of Scorponok into Metroplex color, like Shattered Glass Scorponok. Or not Metroplex, Fort Max, dude. It looks so good. I wish I knew how to airbrush, and I wish I had the space um, to kind of practice airbrushing. Where I live right now, it doesn't permit that. 
And so for those of you who have big yards or like garages or whatever that allows you to do that, dude, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. I mean, I live in the city. I live in an apartment. And so um, I don't have that luxury. But uh, yeah, I learned this from um, from Sammy. And yeah, the the hole was super long or, or, or enlarged. And so I had to use that bit of paper to get that fit right. Um, but yeah, that's the arm, shin guard, shin guard. And then we have Medics' accessory over here. And that's like that on both sides. Um, we talked about this a second ago. The bit from Punchies. So cool. One more time. Yeah, so cool, baby. And it just kind of hugs everything. And that's really, really rather nice. Um, but we'll pop that out. And like I said, this apron. First, I had seen somebody using this. One second. Uh, weird. Yeah, the person that I saw uh, doing this first was um, Robozy. Yeah, and he used um, Axel Grease's accessories to plug in. It was Axel Grease and Tarn that he used this for. And then, I, again, I just learned from it. I built it. And then I, I applied it to one of my builds, you know. Yeah, of course, there's tons of stuff that I do original. But there's lots of stuff that I learn and borrow from um, as well. And if you're in your early stages of building, yo, borrow my stuff, borrow anyone else's stuff. But, you know, just to, just to start practicing, you know, it's like if you're, let's say, into drawing and you're just getting into it, dude, trace and copy a bunch of people's stuff and learn. Don't just trace over it, but learn while you do it. Try to understand why they did it like this and then learn the reasoning behind it and apply it in your own space and transform it um, when you basically apply that technique future in, in, in future builds or future iterations or whatever the case so yeah, everything came off, and uh, he's holding those little bits. It's really quite nice, actually. It's hinged, too. It's so good. It's a really, really nice piece, and you get a bunch of them with that kit, and so 15 bucks, I think, is a steal. Um, and it is the MSG set number 19, 19 I believe so, uh, because all the other ones utilize 3 millimeter ports. There are very few that use 5 and uh, it's all just pegs, mostly just pegs, but it has little like ports in here as well. So you can, you can do that if you want. And you hear that? Oh, that's satisfying, dude. It's a really, really tight fit. QC incredibly high. You don't need any pieces of paper or anything like that. They have ball pegs that come with them too. Um, and I've been messing around with those on Mandroid. But yeah, here we go. Medics. And uh, two, two, two toe lines just kind of scattered about. But um, yeah, I hope you found this um, video edu edu edutaining, educational and entertaining. Hope you had a good time and um, expand your mind. Now, I wasn't trying to make, make that rhyme, but hey, all of that did. But, you know, expand your mind and just kind of mess around with different, different styles, different ingredients, different toy lines and whatever, you know, just, just really just have fun and chill out and relax. And uh, I mean, you can't always have fun. There are times when we have to be serious, like when you got to work or got to do school or got to raise your kids or whatever the case may be. But yo, when you when you have time to chillax, yeah, definitely chillax and put your mind at ease and rest uh, because the brain can't always be working all the time, nor can the brain just be having fun all the time either. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. All right. Bye. 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 Oh, oh, oh.